Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. It's a little bit different today because I am playing um, as I'm as I'm talking, um, and I wanted to cover a couple of topics today. So, um, in no particular order, I want to look at the ICC mission, um, like probe missions, because they're the most simplest missions in the most simplest form. That I suspect we'll have a load of that kind of mission in 3.0 mixed in with some others. Um, frame rates, as you can see. I'm getting good frame rates. Um, I'm not. I don't think you can actually see my Steam overlay. And yes, Steam overlay um, does work with with Star Citizen. The the um, frame rate counter anyway. Uh, I'm getting 58 frames a second at the moment in the Mini Persistent Universe, uh, which is awesome. Which is why I can encode at 60 frames a second on YouTube, which is pretty pretty awesome. Um, but I wanted to talk about that and um, is it server bound? Is it network code bound? All that sort of jazz. Um, also, I wanted to talk a little bit about the starter ship. The Aurora LN, um, or starter ships in general. I'm going to be using Aurora LN, which is a... If you were upgrading your, your Mustang Alpha, um, would be $5 upgrade. Um, which I actually think is worth it. I don't like spending money on anything. But um, it's uh, the Aurora LN is the, the ship that I will be um, starting the game with. Go on, go up. No, don't want to do that. Bad. That's a bad elevator. Item system 2.0 allows us to have elevators that are real. Ooh, exciting. Um, uh, what was the other thing? Ah, the cost of ships in game. So Chris Roberts talked about uh, that recently at Gamescom interview, so I just wanted to talk very briefly about that as well. So let's spawn in our uh, Aurora LN. Um, I'm going to do the uh, ICC missions um, while we, uh, while we talk, chat about other stuff. Because we can generate some money. And when the game's launched, we're in beta, we'll be able to earn like real UEC rather than alpha UEC and by doing missions like this. Uh, and that will allow us to buy ships in-game, and that will allow us to buy items and things in-game. So, Chris Roberts recently talked about the cost of ships in-game. Uh, and basically said there will be a huge disparity between um, like pistols uh, and cheap ships and then huge carriers. Because that's the kind of disparity you have in real life. So... Big ships, capital ships, um, even stuff like constellations are going to cost a hell of a lot of in-game credits. But as you um, go up your ships from like the, the Aurora MR to the Aurora LN to the Avenger to, to whatever, you're going to be earning more and more money per mission. Where is my ship? It's down there. Um, that's my Aurora LN. Couldn't find it for a second. Um, so you're going to be earning more and more and more money. The, the big ships... They're going to cost a lot of time and effort, and they're more group efforts. So if you want to get an Idris or even like a Polaris Corvette or something, you're going to be earning money for that for quite a while, um, and you're going to be trying to pull it together with a group. That said, everyone in the verse will be able to attain those ships, probably even solo. It will just take a lot of time. Um, he did mention as well that you're effectively getting a good deal um, by buying some of the stuff now. It didn't say that in that many words, but he basically said um, that it's a lot cheaper with real money than it would be with in-game money. And there's a big disparity there as well. Um, but that said, you can't put a value on gameplay. We well, can, probably can. I don't know. Can you? Can you put a value on gameplay? Someone probably did. I don't know what I'm talking about now. But yes, there's going to be a huge disparity between um, the cheaper ships, uh, weapons, and then like carriers, larger ships, constellations. Uh, reclaimers, that sort of stuff. So just bear that in mind that it's going to take some time to earn this stuff in-game. Uh, but it should be fun to play. It should be fun to earn that money. It shouldn't be a grind in the same way that other MMOs have had a grind. Because you've got those missions. You've got lots of different types of mission. And let's go and do some of the most basic, simplest types of mission. Um, let's go to the ICC mission, bro. Woo! Seeing very much my kind of mentality here where I just kind of ramble on about stuff um, and think it out as I say it. But so we're going to be using the Aurora um, LN here, which is, as I said, basically a starter ship. Oh. Tell me, Tessa. Give me a mission. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the neighborhood. Second class junior cartographer Tessa Bannister reporting in. I'm the eyes behind all the ICC scan probes in the area. What these little guys see, I see. Which, yes, means I can totally see you. Right now. Anyway, there was actually a reason to why I commed. I'm sort of not allowed to leave my post. Important jump point scanning and all. So, I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. 
If you have a second, could you check out these coordinates? Scans are saying something's there, but can't ID it. Stand by, scanning. Right, so we've been given a miss mission by Tessa um, to go and go to different coordinates. And basically all the ICC missions are basically go here, either destroy uh, these pirates, find this um, item that you have to get out of your ship and press F on, or protect this ship. Uh, spoilers, but that's that's basically it. And these are the most simple types of missions that we're going to get in the verse. Um, and they'll be mixed in um, with some of the more awesome looking demo 3.0 mission ones with loads of cool video and meeting actual NPCs and getting betrayed and lots of storyline quests going on so they're going to be mixed in with those ones to give the game more flavour, more variety. Um, they also talked about like a modular mission system so um, even if you've got missions like this they would be different every time is the idea. Um, so we're just going to go towards that flashy, flashy beacon and we just have to literally get to that beacon and press F on it and when we get out of our ship. So the other thing is frame rates. So, oh god, that's a that's a bit uh, that's a bit of a weird camera angle. I'm getting like 58 to 60 frames a second quite often in the uh, in the mini PU, which is absurd to some people who are uh, have much better rigs than me and like get like 15 frames per second. So it's we're thinking it's partially server bound FPS, but it it looks as also that. Obviously, time of day might be a factor. When I when I log in and play, there might be less people playing. The servers might be less loaded. But also, people are talking about the network code just being uh, relatively unoptimized and um, your CPU having a problem with it. Now, I've done a guide on some CPU um, utilization bug fixes and stuff, and I don't seem to have a problem with first uh, with frames in the verse. Occasionally, um, in the mini persistent universe, I'll drop down to like. Thirty frames a second. Um, let's kill these pirates. But honestly, check out my guide on that. Um, uh, it's there. There's a Windows. Oh, we're just using M3A lasers and M4A lasers. But uh, the guide is on. Oh god. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I? Oh my god! I'm literally my ass is dragging through space so hard. Oh, too much inertia. Um, so, yeah, that guide is on Windows 10, but also uh, Star Citizen in general. Um, let us drop some flares. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Mr. Pirate. You can see how quickly they melt, even in my heavy as ass shit. Pew, pew, pew. Have some of that, mate. So, for me, the Aurora LN is one of the better value ships in the game. It allows you to do everything. You're not going to miss out on any gameplay. Um, to be brutally honest, I would actually prefer an Avenger. Um, just uh, the Avenger Titan is so cheap for what it is, allows you to do loads. But the the Aurora LN, if you don't want to miss out on any gameplay and then start from like the beginning, um, Aurora LN is a great place to start. Oh, we've got someone else doing the mission here. So uh, you can see that this mission isn't instantized at all. Um, no. I was in cruise mode. So, um, I'm surviving because the Aurora LN, and that was, a, that was a good thing to segue show you. The Aurora LN is very durable. <laughs> um, you can see that bug there at the moment where it says incoming missile, where there's no currently uh, missile attached. We're going to jump out of our ship and we're going to grab this black box, um, which will give us a load of money by completing the mission. Oh my god. I didn't realise, okay, so the, the major issue with the Aurora at the moment, which I did not realise until uh, using it like this, uh, is it takes ages to slow down, um, even when you're using boost fuel to, to try and slow you, and space brake, I and mean, it took ages there to slow down, I almost crashed again, um, and that would not be appropriate. Right. Where are you, black box? Near you. Here we go. So it's simple as that. I mean, these these really simple basic missions, which you'll see a load of in the verse, uh, I very much suspect in 3.0, probably um, with a bit extra, two extra bits and bobs. I'm not going to kill this guy. Um, I see lots of other people just going on murder sprees when they see anyone else. I'm very trusting. Let's listen to this guy. Safe 
So, yeah, so you get lots of different ones where, obviously, this one was just a black box of an already destroyed ship. We might have to protect a ship. Um, we might have to, uh, that's basically it, find a black box or protect a ship, really. Um, pretty, pretty damn simple, but it's a good way of earning money uh, in 2.5. Um, and there are other there are other missions as well. You've got the Kovalex mission. Um, you've got uh, salvaging and scavenging in general, which we will look at at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's really all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to, to make sure that check out that guide that I've made. Honestly, it should hopefully help your frame rate issues, even in the mini persistent universe. And I'm trying to work out whether it is. Some form of uh, CPU network code thing now, because some people have suggested that it might be that, or if it's server bound, or if it's both. So I'll, I'll do some research into that. But um, but performance guide Stand genuinely down. seems to help a lot. You can see that my frames uh, are pretty pretty sexual, um, wee, and everything looks pretty good. But those ICC missions, they are kind of worth doing. Let's go back to, to Tessa for another mission while we're while we're chatting about random chores. Um, hopefully this time we won't cruise mode into an asteroid. Um, I did realise uh, as well how bad I am at certain things and dealing with uh, lag and first person shooter elements. So I used to be reasonably good, but when I went to Korea on my stream the other day, I just got absolutely wrecked um, by people. Um, so we need to practice some FPS skills, not just um, going around and shooting. But yeah, so that's all I wanted to talk about. Frame rates, check out that performance guide, hopefully it will help you. Um, and while I do some more research, um, it, it sorts out like the CPU utilization bug, um, various optimizations you can do for Star Citizen, including the user.cfg stuff. Oh, hey Tessa. Welcome back to the probe. Quick question for you. This sounds serious, right? Yeah, it does. I'm just pressing F1 to get into my Moby glass again uh, to track those coordinates. And you can see that this little symbol here shows my latest mission. I'm going to go over there to get this that DB, that Distress Bacon, um, or Distress Bacon, as Tessa calls it later. Spoilers. Uh, but yeah, so that's all I really wanted to talk about. Some really simple missions that we're likely to get lots of in 3.0. Maybe a bit uh, more modular, a little bit of polish to all of them so they're all a little bit better. Um, but obviously we'll get them mixed in with some other cool missions. Uh, starships like the Aurora LN, they are totally viable in the verse. Um, and you can go up from there and get good, basically get some better ships. Um, but those those ships, you're going to get a lot of gameplay out of that, the early game. The toil is going to be worth it, it's going to be fun, there's going to be missions for all levels. Um, and those big ships, they're going to cost a lot, but they're, they're group efforts. Uh, frame rate wise, check out that performance guide. Honestly, it should help you. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. But yeah, don't forget. That, oh, oh, there's pirates attacking. Uh, don't forget that you can win a uh, that budget Star Citizen PC oh, that I made a little while ago, and um, just by uh, commenting on any of our Star Citizen videos. What are you doing? Why are you sliding like a bus? I don't want to crash into an asteroid. And um, just by commenting on any of our Star Citizen videos throughout September gives you a chance to win that Star Citizen PC or an Argo MPUV. Um, I quite like the look of the Argo, though I can't think of any reason to use one unless you've got a huge ship. No, no, stop, stop moving. Damn you, Aurora LN, I'm doing a video about how cool you are, and all you do is burn me by being a bus. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really does help me. I will get some gameplay videos all about multiplayer, so we're going to be going through all of the roles multiplayer that you can do in the verse at the moment, whether it be salvage, whether it be ICC in multi-crew ships, um, Kovalex missions in groups, uh, locking down Korea in a big FPS group, all that sort of stuff. We'll be doing all of that over the next couple of weeks as well, uh, so that should be fun and exciting. Um, and yeah, oh, no worries, happy help. Give me some more money. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I'm sure this is a sporadic gameplay video, but I just wanted to show off some of the gameplay and how it looks, and that I get really good frames in the Mini Persistent Universe, and you can too. Um, I mean, I'm running on a 1060 here, uh, graphics card, and uh, yeah, it seems to run absolutely great. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the verse.